Hello everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. Today we are solving minimum number of days to make M bouquet. We are given an array bloom day and an integer M and another integer K. Now we need to make M bouquet. To make a bouquet, you need to use K adjacent flowers from the garden. The garden consists of N flowers. The ith flower will bloom in a certain number of days and the certain number of days is given in the bloom day. So we have to return the minimum number of the days that we need to uh, wait enable to make M bouquets. If it is impossible to do so, we have to return minus one. In the first example, so these are the number of the days in which these particular uh, flowers will bloom. Now we need to make M which is equals to three, three number of bouquets. And we have to use one adjacent flower that is only one flower to make a particular bouquet. So in this case, the answer is three as we have to wait only for three days. When we are waiting, let us see. So for the day number one, the first flower will bloom. For the day number two, this particular flower will bloom. And on the day number three, this flower will bloom. So we will have three number of bouquets after three days. So this is the answer. Here in this case, we need three adjacent flowers and we have to make two bouquets. So what is the minimum number of the days that we need to wait? So in this case, uh, after seven days, after seven days, these all flowers will bloom. And after 12 days, this particular flower will bloom. So we have to wait 12 days in order to make uh, two bouquets of size three. We can try solving this problem in a hit and trial manner. So what I mean by hit and trial, let me explain you. So let us say that we have a given array and let us say we are given an array and k is equals to 5 that is 5 consecutive flowers are required to make one bouquet and m is given as let's say a 3. Now we will be we will be deciding a certain number of the days in which we can complete this particular requirement and we will do hit and trial for that number let us say the number that we are guessing is mid mid of the binary search now once we have this number we will be calculating the number of the bouquets that we can obtain using these many days so we will start traversing our array and we will check whether this flower is bloomed or not and this flower is bloomed or not and we will once we have k consecutive flowers that are bloomed we are going to increment our count which is total so total is the number of bouquets that we can obtain in mid number of days so once we obtain total finally we will check whether our total is greater than the required number of bouquets or not if it is greater than we will be returning true and we will further try to minimize this mid in case this total is smaller than the required number of the bouquets we will be incrementing this mid because we need more number of the days so this is what we are going to do now let us quickly jump on to the coding part so that we can understand this all right so what i was saying we will have a boolean function this will be check and the parameters we, we are going to need is the array m k and one more parameter which is mid now our total will be zero and we will have to keep another variable c is equals to zero c will basically denote that how many consecutive flowers uh, do we have which are already bloomed so we will be traversing from i is equals to zero to v dot size if v of i is if v of i is smaller than or equals to mid 
in this case C++ also if C equals to K that is we already have K number of consecutive flowers together so we will be incrementing total total plus plus I think this we can do and we will initialize C with 0 again if u of i is smaller than or equals to mid then C++ if total is greater than or equals to m return true else return false And if it is not the case, then C is equals to 0. Because we will have to reinitialize C with 0. As we, let's say, uh, we need 3 consecutive flowers and 2 consecutive flowers we already collected. And the third one will not be a flower which is bloomed. So we will have to reinitialize C with 0. Now here we are taking start is equals to 0 and end is equals to int max and to avoid overflows I am taking int max minus 1 while start is smaller than equals to end we will be calculating mid int mid is equals to start plus end minus start divided by 2 if this mid if it is true other parameters are bloom day m and k if it is true answer is equals to mid and we are going to declare our end is equals to mid minus one because we are going for less number of days now else it starts equals to mid plus one this is what we do in binary search and finally return answer answer is equals to minus one let us check for any compilation errors from i is equals to zero If this is the case, if this is the case, then do C++ and if C is equals to K, then do C is equals to 0 and total plus plus else C is equals to 0. Three minus one twelve. Okay. Now let us try to submit this. So now try to guess the time complexity of the solution. The time complexity is log n for binary search, and here the range is from zero to int max minus one. So basically log of this particular range in the worst case but that's not the only case here the check function is not a constant function so each time we are uh, trying to guess a particular mid we are also checking this the checking itself takes big O of n log of int max multiplied by n so this is the overall complexity of the solution now let us move on to the next problem the problem is least number of unique integers after k removals so given an array of integers and an integer k find the least number of unique integers after removing exactly k elements 
so in this case we see that once we remove 4 we will be left with only one unique element that is 5 in this example we we have to remove three elements so the first element which we are going to remove is 2 the second element which we are going to remove is 4 now we are only left with two unique element that is 1 and 3 the idea is very simple we are going to store the frequency of each of these elements and larger the frequency more we will avoid it to delete because even if we delete some occurrences of that particular number the other occurrences will be left and that will further increase the total number of unique integers which we need to minimize so we will be removing those elements whose frequency is the least so this is what the basic idea is declare a map of type int comma int uh, traverse the entire array m of a plus plus this is storing the frequency now we will go to each of these element in the map and I will make a vector vector of type pair of int comma int now I'm going to do the reverse mapping the first element v dot push back the first element of this pair will be the count so a dot second a dot second will give us the count dot a dot first now we are going to sort this sorting will give us those elements whose frequency is the least they will be transferred to the front of this v array v dot end now for int i is equals to 0 i is smaller than v dot size i plus plus if k is equals to 0 or k is smaller than v of i dot first in this case we simply have to return our answer what is our answer yeah we, are, we have to initialize our answer with m dot size because these are the total unique elements which are present initially inside the vector the size of m now we have to do k minus equals to v of i dot first and answer minus minus I don't think that we are required to make a I think we can okay let us try solving it using this then we will try to optimize it else okay here it an answer finally the answer for this case is one one and two one and two it is correct let us try to submit okay so what I was saying we are not required to actually keep the element we can only have an integer array and a dot second second and that's it hmm. yeah we are not required to keep the element we are only bothered about the frequency so this is a pretty simple okay we can declare this map as unordered so it will be a constant insertion into the map so the solution will become big o of n so if you really like these solutions please subscribe to the channel thank you